Ah, new kid. Come, take a seat. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, well, how's it going out there? <laughs> okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and mm. I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Ooh. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Cyborg. Elementalist. Cyborg. Psychic. Hmm. Brutalist. Elementalist. Elementalist. Cyborg. Psychic. Cyborg. Elementalist. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. Cyborg. I kind of like Cyborg. Cyborg. More machine than man. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're going to need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night. But the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror... <laughs> you looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power! Power surged through your cybernetic appendages as you focused on your prime directive. Protect the baby that, for some reason, was loitering in your hallway. Hey, what are you doing here, kid? But little did the intruders know that you weren't just any kid. You had been cybernetically enhanced with a suite of shocking abilities. You demonstrated the first of these abilities on your victim. Hey, you can't just knock him back like that. Yeah, what gives? Hey, wait up! The charge you left on the blizzard yeah. shocked to his allies, damaging all of them at once! But you still had many more cybernetic tricks up your sleeve. Just run the program already. <laughs> yeah, I'm so enraged right now. Well, somebody needs to hit this little shit. The intruder took a swing at you, but your block absorbed the damage. I'm, I'm so pissed. Thugs tried to keep their distance, but they weren't prepared for your next power. laid into you. It was time to bring out the big guns. Oh, oh man, yeah, that's big gun. That's creepy. He's more machine than man. And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe. And then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad fuck your mom. Then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooling friends alert! Cooling friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The cooling friends alert! Mrs. Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! So I can select which powers I want in my repertoire. No 
time to waste, butto. This way, butthole. Toward the bus stop. It's the quickest route. My coon sense is on fire. Freedom House is on the move. Confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, God damn it. So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole. And gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. No, not that way, Main Street. The Freedom Pals are on Main Street, and right now we aren't. We're stuck here waiting for you. Praise the Lord, little cuckoo kid. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Cooted Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Cooted Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Ah! Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! The Freedom Pals. I mean, that literally because I don't dance. Let, let's pudge. Time to move. Dude, pace yourself. Going for blood, guys. Bug fight. Yeah. Oh, great, another old negative. I am Wonder Tweak, champion of justice. What? That's gay. Uh, uh, yeah. gay. Wait, I'm confused. You don't have to be on their side, new kid. All right, my turn. Fast pass is on the starting blocks. Yes. Just give me a minute to drain these corpses. Oh, jeez. That just didn't, I didn't mean that. Good job, new kid. You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about code? Oh, shit. Come on. Code, what happened? Timmy got away? He... He completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Ah, there you are, butthole. Huh? What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. What girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise, at all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. 
How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes, my dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid. Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom and... Stop, stop. This is not what's important right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, Psycho. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. What are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? No, we didn't talk about that at all. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned-out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic. <laughs> Just call me a punk? <laughs> Updating now. Too true to life. A lot of crap in there. It's the first noise he's made in the entire uh, two games. He sighed. That, I guess. Sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a king. more annoying than anything. Ugh. Oh, good 
Good kitty. Huh? Huh. Don't forget, you can use your snapping pops to knock things down. See you, bud. Snapping pops. Ah, who's there? Who? No, stay out. Stay out. Is there a key somewhere around here? One day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick. We're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Ready? Let's go, sidekick. Kyle's his wife. I'm pretty much like Bruce Banner. A loner, hoping to one day cure my diabetes and yet knowing it means I'll no longer be able to fat crab. Uh, let's see. Fuck it, bitch! Let's see how you like this! I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick! Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive! I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here! Hey, give me my keys! You are in no condition, sir! I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look! I'm fine. Okay? Give me my keys, please. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! Think I can dance with this? Let's go! Take care, sidekick. Even debilitated, this is a dangerous foe. I'm not debilitated, I'm just jovial. Jovial? Uh, hey, I almost spilled my drink! to pick me up hey you kids want me to pick you up some candy from the store just give me my keys no thank you i have diabetes hey wait how long have i been on fire jesus stop him that hit beat up kids, but I'm kind of getting into it. I can't believe I did that without falling. Oh shit, I'm still burning? Ah, oh, still fucking all staticky. I'm keeping your keys, and that's final. You're no match for Captain Diabetes, and he's crusty sidekick. Pick up some feminine and products, so please, please. Like bubble bath? Sure, whatever.